Hello YouTube, what is going on? My name is Sweden Viper and welcome to the European Grand Prix. It is round 5 of the Reverse Grid Championship here at the Nuremberg Ring and Rosberg is going to be on pole position after a 10 place grid penalty for an engine change alongside his teammate Mark Webber. So Williams may be having a couple of issues with the Cosworth engine. Uh, if you've checked out the previous video I did which was, I believe, uh, the opening round of the 2004 Jaguar career mode as I'm disconnected from the access point brilliant but uh yeah the Jaguar career mode on stock car extreme using the Cosworth engine in the back of those Jaguars so Williams it's it's sort of like if I had to be a Cosworth team then Williams it is but uh yeah they're starting first and fourth thanks to reverse grid uh, Liuzzi out qualified Christian Clean, so good qualifying from him. Uh, Albers was able to out qualify Speed, showing that it's not just car performance that's um, getting Liuzzi up to ninth as he out qualifies the Toro Rosso in the Midlands, which isn't a great car at all. But, uh, Montagni is making his debut here today as Yuji Ide uh, has had his super license taken away from him so it is in fact Frank Montagni sat in the number 23 car and Fisichella is start having his highest starting position in the season so far he starts in 12th place that is after Jacques Villeneuve who was uh, originally 8th in qualifying had his 3 times deleted for ex um, blocking Fizzy Keller during qualifying which resulted in Fizzy Keller not getting into Q3 maybe a little bit of tactics uh, to help some of the other teams maybe who knows but let's get on with it there's David Coulthard as we click start race there is Giancarlo Fizzy Keller in 12th place there's Mark Webber in 4th Rosberg in first predictably he's surely going to get off the line in first place as we are now off and it is underway Montagni having a quick look but uh, it is Rosberg that in fact leads the way as Weber tries to get up the inside of Montagni it doesn't work he has got past Sato though I heard that I heard that Jensen button out the race Raikkonen without his front wing's taken a hit it's not even there okay so it is the start of the race we are riding on board with Kimi Raikkonen seeing from his perspective this crash as we race down towards turn one there's a Honda in front that might be Jensen Button as the concertina rope maybe no yes it is straight into the back of him tries to go up the inside maybe just a little bit too aggressive and there goes the front wing flying There's Rosberg, there's Montagni, there is Mark Webber, so the four of them um, sort of evenly spread out a little bit. Well, for these three anyway. Rosberg's just pulling out a gap, maybe Webber's uh, not got as so much pace in the car as Rosberg currently. But there is the two Torossos, and look at Liotti! He's up to eighth, he started in ninth. And he's already having a look at his teammate, he's past someone. Right, well, there's Raikkonen, so we're missing someone, we're missing Montero, but uh, Cleon is trying to have a good race here, actually, he's got past Alders as Speed and Liuzzi tried to go side by side, that's allowed Coulthard through, if Toros are trying to battle Red Bull, then, uh, Certainly not going to go well for them, letting them through. And Speed trying to defend from the BMW Sauber. Liotti holding the inside line. He's got the outside for the next corner. Kulfar has got the inside. He takes the place away. Liotti back down to eighth, having just taken seventh place. Is 
Hitzi. We've just seen Kofag get past Liuzzi for seventh place, so Liuzzi is driving well, but he just isn't in the correct car here. And hopefully the team can make some advancements for next season, because it would love to see Liuzzi further up the grid than he currently is. Put him in a championship winning car, and I reckon he could go for the championship. David Coulthard having a look at Alves, getting very close to him, trying to sell him some sort of dummy, but it isn't working as Liuzzi is absolutely parking the bus in front of Nick Heitfeld. He's putting on a good defensive drive as Coulthard is still behind Alves, and that's going to allow Liuzzi to close back in on Coulthard, but Coulthard round the outside into the chicane, gets the move done, but Liuzzi continues his defensive drive as he closes in on Alves. Speed dropping behind the rest of the pack as Fizzy Keller gets himself up into ninth place. Liuzzi's gonna need to get past here if he doesn't want to be passed by the Renault. No, he just isn't able to find the inside line, and Fizzy Keller has absolutely done him for that final points position. And now Liuzzi's gonna have to worry about the BMW Sauber Nick Heifeld up the inside, and he's Got the move. That's who we... No, no, the saddles there. So we have lost Montero, which is why, how uh, Clean was able to move up along with Liuzzi. So uh, Massa has got past Liuzzi now. It is Montoya's turn. Surely into the hairpin, easy move. It's a late one, he doesn't get it done either. Barry Kello is there in 14th. So there's Rosberg, <laughs> look at the gap he's got. There is Montagni, he's still defending for weather, so maybe Weber doesn't have that much pace in the car currently because he isn't really closing in too much. And uh, he is coming under pressure from Christian Kleon as Red Bull having a good day here. They, oh, a little bit of touching there from David Coulthard. He's wanting to get past as quickly as he can. As Liuzzi is actually having was having a little bit of a look at Massa. He's, does he have enough slipstream? I don't think he does. Montoya's in there as well. He has dropped off, and Montoya's going to look around the outside. And Liuzzi tries to force him out wide on the exit, and he does get back ahead of him. As Coulthard has got ahead of Sato. It's such a shame that Liuzzi doesn't have a good enough car for good points, because I'd absolutely love to see him. Uh, move up the field. He has been driving absolutely spectacularly this season so far, and it's only bad luck that he doesn't have more points than he does. There is Nico Rosberg. Uh, what is technically his home Grand Prix? It is classed as the European one, but it is in his home country in Germany. And look at the gap he's got as Weber is very close to the back of Frank Montagni this time around. Can he get it past him? He's looking around the outside. That's not going to work. As he tries to focus on the exit, but Clean is having a look into the final corner. And no moves are made, but Rosberg and Clean, uh, Weber and Clean both run a little bit wide. As Rosberg setting a good lap time. But Weber is up the inside. Bit of banging of wheels. This more banging of wheels. And Weber's going around the outside. Can he hold it there? Montagni holding the inside line. He gets the defensive move done. And Weber runs out wide. That could allow Clean for a move, but he doesn't capitalize on it. Isn't able to. And it's still Frank Montagni in second. He's holding well in his debut race. As Weber is still in third place, Clean still in fourth, Coulthard in fifth, with Fizzy Keller in sixth place, and Massa and Heidfeld aren't too far down the road as well. As 
Kulfad having a look at Kleon into the hairpin. Villeneuve's by himself. Raikkonen, after losing his front wing, he's by himself. There's Ralph Schumacher and Trulli behind Scott Speed. As Alonso has yet to score points in this season. He's, he's not doing well. He's yet to score points. As what is that? That is an engine failure for Felipe Massa. That that could put Liuzzi back into the points. He's all over the back of Sato. Having a look around the outside. He's defending from the McLaren whilst doing it. As this train is still unchanged for position. And Kulfad has got the substream of his teammate head to help defend from Fisichella. As they approach the first corner, Fisichella having a look. But he isn't able to do it. A defensive line from Kulfad. Go on, Liuzzi. Sato is just eight. isn't able to find He's a gap. As Barry Cole's made his way into 10th place. He's ahead of former teammate Michael Schumacher. He's ahead of Montoya. And it's Liuzzi and Sato battling for the final points. As Liuzzi runs wide, so does Barry Cole. But Montoya isn't able to get past either of them. So much action going on right now. As Physical has made his way past David Kulfa. He's having a look at Cleon. The side by side. He's going to have the drag, surely. No, Clean is able to get better strength and speed, but Fisichella has the inside line, takes fourth place away, and he's going for points. He's going for a good points all here. And he's going to need to get past quickly if he wants to try catch up Nico Rosberg. So he has a look there, takes a bit of a wider line, avoids that aisle. And that could give him a good enough run out of here to get past Mark Weather. But can the Australian defend from the Renault driver of Giancarlo Physical? Physical looking around the outside. The side by side through the chicane. It's still side by side going into the final corner. Weber getting the run out of the final corner. But he's on the outside. And Physical takes the podium position away from Mark Weber. And surely this is an easy move for Giancarlo Physical. Getting past Frank Montagni in his debut race. The Super Guri driver has no way of defending that whatsoever and that is moved done as they almost go three wide into turn one that's Barry Cole, Ray, uh, Montoya and Michael Schumacher almost going three wide as Liuzzi continues to be hounded for that ninth place whilst trying to hound Sato just doesn't have enough pace to get past him really there is Nico Rosberg. He's just gone through the fast S's. And there's Physical coming out the hairpin. That is the gap that the German has been able to build whilst Montagni has held second place. He needs to keep it tidy here. If he does that, he can close in and pass Sato. Some absolutely spectacular cars, all but the Toro Rosso's are V8s, the Toro Rosso's are V10s. Some spectacular engine noises, some spectacular cars, and some great racing as Liuzzi gets right onto the back of uh, Takuma Sato. Rosberg leads. Fisichella is second. He's up from third. Ide third. He stood down for second. Rubber right fourth. Clean is fifth. In sixth is Coulthard, Heitfeld is in seventh, and Sato is in eighth. Weber had a look at Frank Montagni into turn one, but he didn't get it done. As the two Red Bulls swap position, do they? Yes, they do. So that moves Coulthard up into fifth, ahead of his teammate Christian Kleon. And is that what Red Bull needs to get past Mark Weber and past Frank Montagni? Onto the podiums. Who knows, but Toro Hosso. I tell you what, Sato's holding his own in the Super Guri. It is far from a great car. And he's holding his own in 8th place. Ahead of Liuzzi, who's doing a great defensive drive. But Alonso has made his way into 11th place. And if I was Barry Kello, I wouldn't want the Renault of Fernando Alonso. 
behind me in the mirrors. Two world championships in real life with this team. And currently, just one in the series so far. <laughs> look at how close these three are. Kulpad having a look. Pulls out the slipstream, having a look into turn. Whatever number, the final turn. The gap has now stretched to 2.4 seconds. 2.4 seconds is the gap between Rosberg and Fisichella as Weber is very close. Can he get it on the inside? No, he can't. Fisichella is now visible in some of the Rosberg shots. As Kumsato as Liuzzi now has Fernando Alonso to deal with. And this is, in theory, Liuzzi's points charge over for this race. There's no way he can defend from the Spaniard. In theory, the only way to defend would be get past Sato and hope Sato is able to defend enough from Alonso. But I think both of them are going to be passed in due time. Of course, thank words. There's Rosberg and there's Fisichella going into the chicane. So they are getting very much closer together as Coulthard runs a little bit wide coming out of the right-hander onto the straight. So whether we're trying to go for a final charge, it is the final three laps of this race. The gap has now shrunk to just three tenths of a second. It's the gap very close between Weber and Montagni. And that was a very tidy first corner by Mark Weber, but he runs a little bit wide through turn two. As Coulthard has a look at the Williams driver. Fisichella definitely closing in. He's eked out the margin by another ten. So it's all tight between Weber and Montagni. And that would be an impressive debut. Getting points on your debut would be absolutely impressive. As Alonso still isn't past Liuzzi. And in fact, Barry Keller was having a look at Alonso. As Alonso runs a little bit wide, Barry Keller right on the back of him. Riding on board with Rubens Barrichello now. And just got a face full of Renault as he has a look on the inside, using as much track as possible. You can see Liuzzi and Sato ahead of Fernando Alonso as they all bunch up together into the chicane. Alonso's at the inside of Luzzi. He's got the move done, and this is going to be a point now for Fernando Alonso. He's got the straight line speed. He's already passed Luzzi, trying to follow him through in the slipstream of the Spaniard. He's at the inside. He has to back out of it. And how is Luzzi not passed? How is Luzzi still not passed to Kumasato? I don't know, but Kulfad has got past Weber. So Kulfad goes up the inside, actually clips the front wing of Mark Webber. I wasn't sure where he was going to get past, but that's why he got past during the final corner. And how close does he get to Montagni? Pretty close, but he does one ride at the exit of turn. That now stands at 1.8 seconds. So it's put me back right where I left off, which is nice for once. But there is Fisichella and there is Nico Rosberg. It's going to be a final lap battle between the two of them. Can Rosberg hang on to win or will Fisichella take it on the final lap? 
as Cleon has made his way past Mark Webber, so Webber dropping back as the two Red Bulls move forward. Can Kulfaz get past Frank Montagni? Will Red Bull get a podium here today at the Nuremberg Ring? And will Williams win the race? Fisichella moves closer in. He's just taken six tenths of a second off the car ahead. As we enter the final lap of this Grand Prix, Fisichella is giving his all. That's more than taking six tenths of a second. It looks like this race is still on. An awesome manoeuvre from Fisichella. It... He gains a place. The constant pressure was too much for Rosberg, who doesn't look like he'll be able to respond. So Fizzy Keller with an absolute dive bomb somehow gets it turned in, somehow doesn't run wide, a pretty tidy corner from the pair of them, but Rosberg may be suffering from a little bit of tire wear because he broke far earlier than Fizzy Keller and they made the same line, as Kofan has in fact got past Frank Montagni, and Heitfeld has got past Weber, so Weber falling back as Alonso up into the points. And can he get any more on this final lap as Cleon's turn to get past Montagni. He's having a look on the uh, on the inside of the hairpin, but he isn't able to slot it up. But it is Giancarlo Fisichella who rounds the final corner to take the race victory here in the Nuremberg Ring. For the European Grand Prix, Nico Rosberg second. second. David Coulthard is currently sat in third place, and unless his engine blows up, it is going to be third place for the British driver. Can Alonso take more points on the final lap? He's gone up the inside of Weather. He's got it done. Clean wasn't able to get past Montagni, but that is an impressive debut from the French driver Montagni as he finishes in fourth place after holding second and third for most of this race. Captivating weekend here at the Nürburgring. Plenty of action, plenty of surprises. It's been a brilliant weekend of racing here in Germany. The tens of thousands of F1 fans that travel here and from that all over Europe was an absolutely incredible race. And they'll be going home happy. I've enjoyed it immensely and we hope you have too. We'll see you again in only seven days' time in Barcelona, where the 2005 world champion Fernando Alonso will be looking to seal a home victory in front of his loyal fans. Until next week, goodbye and take care. So it's the home Grand Prix for Fernando Alonso next time out. As Michael Schumacher finishes in 12th place, but Alonso, after coming into this event with no points, leaves with two of them and a race win for his teammate taking a look at the drivers championship then and Rubens Barrichello is still on top but he is now joint on points with Giancarlo Fisichella in the red Renault Fisichella is starting to come back into it maybe starting to get a few points on the board as he is joint with Rubens Barrichello Ralph Schumacher drops down into third after not claiming any points Massa and Villeneuve drop down as well David Coulthard moves ahead of people and drops below people, so he stays in the same position with Nico Rosberg coming up into 7th. Kimi Raikkonen rounds out the top 8 for McLaren, and then Rubens Barrichello's teammate Jensen Button hops into 9th place with 12 points. And rounding out the top 10 is Yuji Ide, who is, of course, no longer racing in F1 after having his super license taken away from him. And uh, Frank von Tagny gets a good result as he jumps up to 16th in the championship in his first race. Moving on to the constructor standings, and Honda is still leading the way this time now on 30 points. Ferrari is still in second on 24, and Super Aguri after Frank Montagni, Frank Montagni taking points. They move up into third place, so Super Guri doing well with 23 points, but Red Bull are only th three points behind them. And BMW, Sauber, Renault, and Toyota, the three of them are all four points behind Super Guri, so it's all very tight. But Toro also dropping back a little bit, 
They are what looks to be seven points behind Midlands and McLaren. So they're starting to drop back a little bit. They need to get some points on the board, but Leeds has been so unlucky this season. But moving on to the next round, uh, it is in fact the Spanish Grand Prix the next round. So that should be a good one. But join me next time. It's been a very good round. But I'll see you next time.